Hi, this is Chinmay from Briggs Ultimate. First time I am putting my voice in video. Actually, this is very noise area, so I can't erase or omit the noise from my video. So that reason I did not put my noise here. Someone asked me what is the difference between the checkout builder from Briggs and checkout builder from the Briggs Ultimate. So I am giving some view about this. First of all, my checkout builder is, is still in under development and it is not ready for the production side. If you look, I added the bricks one at top and mine one is bottom one. Bricks currently giving the two elements for the checkout builder. One is customer details and another is order details. If you look properly, you can see that you can't divide the every part like order details, shipping details, payment details. Same way uh, the billing field, shipping fields, much more and it is the much more flexibility. My main goal is that I shall provide the more flexibility with the more style of shunts so customer can edit and add their own custom co uh, functionality for it this is the bricks one so you can't change the design or anything it is very very complicated i created five elements Currently, one is billing field, shipping field, checkout hooks, billing and shipping method. The checkout hooks it need because if you use the third party plugins and if you check the templates of checkout files, you can see that WooCommerce adding lot of hooks under the checkout template. So this kind of hooks it need. So I create the elements for it. Uh, check out hooks you can see some hooks still it is add more items here currently I added few so this hooks elements is required for your third party element so you will properly add the hooks and proper position based on the template you will look the WooCommerce template and you can see where it is added First, I am showing my billing fields. I divided the fields, every field in the single element. First is the filling, field drop down. You will see all the register field type filled here. At the same time, you can also register the custom fields. I added the custom field options. Here you can see that I added the drop down a text area, custom field text area. You need the field key and the same way you can style it based on your design. Here I added the radio options. So my custom field currently supporting this kind of field types. So you can see that you can you can make a grid layout or any kind of layout easily with bricks native elements i created the two columns div and created some a grid layout so you can see that how much flexibility and how much controllable plus i added some styler options for the all field types next i divided my shipping fields shipping methods this is the another element shipping methods and you can see that I added the installer options. Next, I create a billing component. This billing element is a nestable element. It is still not completed yet. I am still developing it. So this nestable element, you can put the billing fields here. You can see that billing element under the billing elements. I put my all billing fields and created the layout. It is a toggle fields. Okay, when you choose the use different, then in this section area will 
appears this is the functionality next i did not divide this part yet but i shall divide it and create every part in the single elements right now on the left side i put my card content element or you can use my mini card builder here same way i use my coupon field okay i put some settings under the bricks mix tabs so here i added some extra field options you can unregister the billing fields if you not required for your site same way you can remove the shipping fields you can disable the payment gateway so on your page this payment gateway will not appear next remove the default coupon form if you check the bricks checkout builder checkout page you will see here a coupon form section is coming let's disable and showing you what is it if you refresh the page you can see this bar top bar it is showing the coupon form same coupon form functionality is doing by my coupon form ajax it is ajax based so you can easily test it and use it here and you can change the items okay and this is the shipping method if i change my country like hungary this one local pickup and this is the use different this is the billing options field okay so currently this kind of functionality is available under the my bricks ultimate 